Hello friends, this video on coal and petroleum part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So when we talk about the exhaustible resources, the first resource that strikes our mind are the fossil fuels. So what are fossil fuels? These are fuels which are formed by natural processes like decomposition of dead plants and animals. So anything which is formed from dead plants and animals, they are called fossils. And since they act as fuels, they are called fossil fuels. So examples of fossil fuel are coal, petroleum, natural gas. So these are all examples of fossil fuel because all of them are formed from dead animals or plants. So if you talk about coal, it is formed from dead plants. Talk about petroleum. It is also formed from uh, dead animals which were once living in the sea. So anything which is formed from dead living organisms, they are called fossil fuels. So in this lesson, we will talk about how coal was formed, how petroleum was formed and how, what are the components present inside coal or petroleum. So we will talk in detail about them. Now, what is the importance of fossil fuels? Why are they so important? Firstly, because they are important sources of energy. Now, if you talk about any fossil fuel, you talk about coal, you burn coal, you get a lot of energy, you get a lot of heat energy, you get a lot of light energy and this energy is so much that it is actually used to produce electricity. You talk about petrol or diesel, they also act as good sources of energy. Domestic purposes, for example, for cooking, we make use of the cylinders which contain LPG. So the LPG is nothing but it is a, pro it is a product for, uh, obtained from petroleum. Even natural gas which is available through the gas pipelines. So that is also used for domestic cooking purposes. In fact, coal is also used in a lot of rural areas. Thermal power plant where uh, the heat energy from these fossil fuels are used to generate electricity. So that is the purpose of setting up a thermal power plant. Now the question is how were these fossil fuels formed? Because I said they were formed from dead plants and animals. But how? So these fossil fuels were formed during the Carboniferous period which was a long time ago. Around 350 million years ago. So can you just imagine how past we are talking about. So millions and millions of years ago during the Carboniferous period. Why was that called Carboniferous period? Because of the role of carbon. So carbon was present in everything. So these fossil fuels were formed. What happened during that time was a lot of trees, plants, organisms, they started dying. So when they died, they went to the bottom of the oceans. Now during those period, a huge portion of the earth was covered by water. Now most of these dead plants or animal remains, they went to the bottom of the ocean. Over a period of time, they formed a layer of spongy material called peat. Because as they went to the bottom, a lot of other things like sand, mud, clay, stones, rocks, they started getting deposited over the dead remains. So after again a couple of years what happened was those dead trees or plants remains they formed a layer called peat and this peat gradually as it got covered with more and more rocks, stones, sand and clay it got squeezed. It is something like you leave uh, say you leave something on a table, you leave a book on the table and on top of the book you keep a lot of stuffs. Now as you keep increasing those stuffs, the book tend to get squeezed. So the same thing happened here. So the peat got squeezed because, squeezed because a lot of other stuffs were actually coming upon it. So gradually because when it got squeezed it started releasing water like how it happens with a sponge. So if you squeeze the sponge, the water goes out. So here also the same thing happened. The water started getting released. And that is how under the influence of high temperature, high pressure. So these dead remains of plants and animals formed coal, petroleum and natural gas. Coal was primarily formed from the remains of dead plants and petroleum was formed from dead remains of animals. 
So, but this is how it happened. And as you can see, this transformation of dead plants or animals into coal or petroleum did not happen overnight. So it took millions of years to, to for this transformation to take place. So that's why we always say that these are exhaustible resources because it, the formation has actually taken these many years. So if we exhaust them so soon, then it will become difficult to form them again. However, even though the fossil fuels are a great source of energy, but there are certain disadvantages associated with them. One is air pollution. Burning of fossil fuels cause a lot of pollution. In fact, it releases a lot of harmful gases like carbon monoxide. Not only pollution, it also results in a lot of harmful substances which are produced during burning of fossil fuels, they remain in the atmosphere and they combine with the normal rain and results in acid rain. So these acid rain contains several acidic oxides. Now this acid rain contains a lot of acidic oxides like carbon oxides, nitrogen and sulfur dioxides and these oxides, they actually have a lot of adverse effects not only on uh, the living organisms, but on a lot of other things like monuments. So one such classic example of uh, adverse effect of acid rain is the Taj Mahal. So if you look at the shine of the Taj Mahal, it has reduced a lot over the past couple of years. And that has happened due to acid rain. Greenhouse effect. So what, what happens in a greenhouse effect? So they are also because the amount of the gases which are greenhouse gases when the amount of those gases like methane and carbon dioxide so they are basically the greenhouse gases carbon dioxide and methane now when these gases they increase a lot in the atmosphere what happens is they tend to absorb a lot of heat and therefore overall there is global warming so greenhouse effect over a period of time results in global warming that is the overall temperature of the earth increases now we we will learn about greenhouse effect in other topics so here i will not get into the detail of this but fossil when we burn fossil fuels more and more carbon dioxide is added up to the atmosphere so we are basically increasing the amount of greenhouse gases so that's how we are also contributing to the greenhouse effect now these are some of the very major disadvantages associated with the use of fossil fuels and therefore we should be very much conscious about uh, uh, how we use fossil fuels. Now there are quite a reasons attached to it. First of, it. first of all, these are exhaustible resources. I mean, if we use them all at once, nothing will be left for the immediate future generations because fossil fuels cannot be formed over a period of 100 or 200 years. They will again need some millions of years. So that means the future generations will not have any more fossil fuels. So that is one reason. Second thing is a lot of uh, pollution also happens due to the use of fossil fuels. So that means also to protect our environment, to keep our environment clean, we should try to use fossil fuels judiciously. So based on whatever we have discussed so far about fossil fuels, what do we conclude? We conclude that uh, resources like coal and petroleum should be used judiciously so that they are left for our future generation. It is very similar to the example of the jar of chocolates. So if the present generation, that is those students who are coming early, if they eat all the chocolates, then what will happen? Nothing will be left for the students who will come a little later. So similarly, the present generation, if they use all the coal and petroleum, nothing will be left, left for the next generation. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.